Hey guys, it's NPC Cora back at it again with another video. Finally, after um, completing summer school with a really high grade, I'm super happy and back. I'm ready, really ready to get back into it. And by a random twist of fate, we're back at it again with Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, I don't know what prompted me to play this game again. I had listed it as complete on my list of games that I've been like that I've completed, but um. I don't know, I'm going to take it off it and put it back on the uh, currently recording list. Um, but if you're ready to get into it, I think last time Sayaka died and that was about it. So if you're ready to get into it, let's just do it. So yeah, last time... Oh yeah, Junko's dead too, so Junko died and Sayaka's dead. So now I'm not really sure what we're doing. Well, let's talk to Kyoko. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What's- how do I go again? Oh, it's- it's the mouse. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh wait, no, that's auto. No, 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 stop auto. Okay. <laughs> You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. Let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no. You can't just leave him there alone. What? what? Why the hell not? Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. What? Well, fuck you! Fine then. Uh, wait. I don't know how to voice this character. They're super cool and everything, I just don't know how to say... Like, I don't know how to speak like them. I'm just gonna talk normally. Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Two player co-op based defense with two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, that's it. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. Touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Byakuya, I don't know why you're even bothering to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. I knew he was going to say something like that. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. Hold on! Just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's a joke or what? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help! You're just accepting that? You're, wait, you're just now accepting that? Press the tab key to observe the room here and this will display what people in objectives- Oh, I forgot about that. What people in objectives you could- I can interact with everyone in this room and Junko. Junko doesn't count as a person. I can't let anything distract me. Bitch! I'm just trying to investigate everything I can see! What's that? Is that- is that a camera? Fuck you, Makoto. I'm trying to just look at things, okay? Um, press the R key to exit the hall, return to whatever- okay, R. R? Just a second. Hold on. Huh? Before we even get- begin- before we begin investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh yeah. Why well, I clicked on you already! What do we need to talk about? Anyway. Going to find out who the killer is. Cause if we don't, we're all going to die here. No shit! If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. Well, that's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid! Celeste- oh yeah, I tried to put on a voice for you. Hmm. So you finally noticed. Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma file uh, we received. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sakura- Sayaka- Sayaka- Know about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's room. Well, she's right. Then, could it be- All at once everyone's gaze turned towards me? Hold on a second, you got it all wrong. For one night I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 for just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. 
We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sakura. Uh, Sayaka, sorry. We'll have to construct clues to form a foundation and then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong. Well, do I really have to say any more? I'd rather you didn't know. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, that's right. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this here is here right now and they think of destroying that evidence, they better not let them let they better not let me find him. I'll skip that trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Damn. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sucker ran off. But I mean we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? We have the ultimate detective with us, here. We really don't have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sakura Sayaka. What are you implying? Who is you? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty or any and yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to. I couldn't help investigate. Why not? I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone is expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Bye, Leon. <laughs> Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. It was pointless. Everyone had already left. Their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? And you said everyone left. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen and there was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth, so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Cool. I need to drink some water, that was a lot of talking. Hey, Higakure. Uh, no way! I seriously don't want to die here! I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth! God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Here doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Hi Chihiro. Aren't you going to help investigate Chihiro? Oh, I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Aw, I really like her. I hope she lives. I get the feeling that's not going to be the case, but I hope she does live, really. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. Is Mondo even gonna let you in? Better examine the state of my room a little closer. Might reveal something new. Okay. What's with the sword on the floor? This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating, coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Even if you don't touch it and that one cutscene where he found it, he didn't even touch it and it was all over his hand. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense, does that mean you're seized attack somehow? Plus the swords are taken out so it's just a sheath, but, huh? Some scratches on the sheath, they must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get strapped, scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. 
I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. The heavy sheets like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. Unless you're Peko Peko Yama, so why are there scratches on the sheath? Replica sword sheath has been added to the Peaceful Section of your handbook. Cool! There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have the have had that key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how'd the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? That seems impossible. She was scared. I don't think she would have forgotten to lock the door she was in the room she was in. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. That's not a, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. How did the killer? Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. I want to know- oh. Hi Kyoko, I didn't know you were also in here. You're just kind of hidden behind Mondo there. What switching rooms would accomplish? Like, I, I think that she was trying to pin the murder on us, but was she trying to attract the killer to here? I'm confused. Like, did someone come in here attempting to kill me? Attempting to kill Makoto, but found Sayaka instead and killed her? Like, I'm- I don't know. I'm confused. I hope I don't fail in the trial, because it's kind of seeming like I will. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. So something that could happen in the room next to you, there's no way you could know. Perhaps this is another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the plus section of your handbook. Okay, I want to talk to them, but before that I want to examine the thing, see if it's missing. The thing in the drawer. Toolkit is still inside the drawer, I don't see any evidence of it being used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine and I hadn't any reason to open it. I even- I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yeah, seriously! Oh, Mondo. We ain't exactly in the mood to be fucking building furniture, right? But you haven't used yours either, then? Why? Not just me. No one's busting theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause it's like, why the hell would we? I like Mondo. He's cool. Like, he's scary and all, but for his homies, he'd like, talk really cool and like, you know, be friends. Friendly. Friendly Mondo, yay. Look at the lint- looking at the lint world, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little? Okay, I appreciate that, Sayaka. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I'll follow your lead. I see. I like Sakura too. Mondo! By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. That's definitely possible. That dirty bastard! Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. What if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> oh my god, no. You don't just- you don't, you don't- That'll get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? His voice is so much lighter than hers! No, not really. I'm searching. Searching? You're putting your index finger to the floor. Uh, nowhere near any of the scratch marks, and nowhere near you were where you were standing a minute ago. So... She's down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. For a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? 
Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Very unusual. Unusual? What do you mean? I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it? Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean? What kind of killer comes into my room, uses my lint roller, and just like, I shot, you gotta kill you now because you saw me cleaning Makoto's room? That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Let's, what about the uh, the stand that the sword was on? It's a display stand the, store, the sword was on. Okay. What about in the actual place? The bathroom. And on the other side of the store. Jesus Christ, why'd you need to invert the colors for that scene? No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Oh, she's still there. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She lost everything that that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I had to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Interesting. There's letters. Or numbers, sorry. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. And there I saw... N0371037. Written in blood, there are numbers 11037. Okay. Did Sayaka do this? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but there's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. There's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist was all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. So she wrote the numbers on the wall? The palms of her- of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the triple section handbook. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So that's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Bloody numbers? I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what they could possibly mean. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in the location while she was sitting in the way the way we found her, means she must have wrote them by turning her hand toward the wall. If we were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Think about it. You're not going to tell me? You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to bullet section in your handbook. Sounds like Kyo uh, Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I, I know who I should talk to you when it comes to numbers. Who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? So one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the triple section handbook. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. The doorknob? You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see it right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoto said, uh, Kyoko and said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. It's off center. It's off center right there. 
What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I guess they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought, then apparently struck with sudden realization she shot a question at me. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door wouldn't- your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. Then that clears that up. Clears what up? I'm so lost. Well, see you later. I hate the whole mysterious thing. Cause it's like, it's so, like, you can be mysterious about anything else, about personal things, about jokes, you know, you don't, you can't be mysterious about serious stuff, because then it's like, you're gonna fucking die, right? So like, why would you hold back if you're going to die? If you know you're going to die, why won't you just tell him? Especially since you know that Byaki is just gonna be like, tell him, Nayegi. And you, and you won't be able to speak, because Nayagi's speaking. As if forgetting I was over there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth section of the section of your handbook. I still really don't understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I had no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay. Oh my Jesus Christ, he scared me so bad. Yakia, what's up, bruh? So why was Sakura, uh, Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Even if what you said is the absolute truth, you are still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Ugh. The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? And it should have been me that died? All I can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Okay, I- but, b fucking Byakuya should be thankful that it was her that died and not me. Cause if it was me that died, he would have to deal with her. Leon! I'm really short. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Huh? Someone switched the nameplates. Why is my nameplate on this door? Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Yeah, wh why- why does- This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. Why would anyone do that? Door nameplates. Yo, Leon's smart. Thanks, Leon. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Well, I'm going to the trash room anyway, and you can't stop me. There's a hatch. What's this? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. I got a coin from trying to rattle the thing. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's the end of the line! The trash room? This is where all the trash in school eventually winds up. How did you- how do you get this gate open? No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? Uh, only the person on cleaning- who's on cleaning duty? I- I know. This is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. Just punch him in the face, dude. Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Oh, a button! Looks like some kind of switch. Wonder what it does. Just press the button, Mokoto! Oh, he's in here. Hello. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? 
Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all the first to me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. And I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Thanks. I don't think she did it. I don't think... The people that I think are clear of suspicion are Mondo, Sakura, Aoi, Bayakia, Kyoko, Leon, and... There was someone else. I just don't remember who it was. Hagakure. Where else could she have... Where else could I ask someone? Oh wait, he said something about the trash room. Yo, what's your name? Hifumi? I look you for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. That someone on cleaning duty school would be flooded with trash in no time. I formally applied for the position. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I hadn't had a chance to get started. Since you're on cleaning duty, can you open the gate in front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. To do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. We're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Hold on. You'll need a key to get in the trash room. Only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can alter things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? He enjoys this? More important than that. Hey fatty, why do you want to change- why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? Liar, I know why you did it. You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around in it. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. There's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for... 3D good is good for it is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC pictures. Oh my god. How are you t not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? If you're also worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, this is a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash and disposing of it. What? Here's innocent as you climb, we the harm in it. That's not how it's supposed to- Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you're on cleaning duty, I have a favorite ask of you. So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, save the village, or beat a boss. Nothing like that, I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. So Ifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Cool. That was easy. I thought he was going to be like, no one's allowed in the trash room, only me. And then not let me in. You'd like to open the gate, wouldn't you? You know, when I looked at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Getting busy or getting busy dying- or getting busy living or getting busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. I don't know what he was talking about there. Ifumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Fun. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you weren't planning to use the trash from destroyed evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along. No, I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. The actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe your parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, I already see two pieces of vital things. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. Looks like it was used to be some kind of glass ball, but just big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, is that... Do you know what this is? They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Kidding aside, it's kind of the thing you might see on a big city street corner. Gaze into it, it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Ment and Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Sure. I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should 
Uh, they should all still be in the gym. I better go find them for sure. Are you talking about Hagakure? I'd love to go talk to Hagakure again. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Oh my god. Anyway, this is... Looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape. It's part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. Now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left from uh, this is all that's left from so of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. There are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough to by itself to figure out who the killer might be. Let's let's can, can is there a menu? Oh no, wait. I want to I want to pull up my thing. I want to put up pull up my Makoto thing. How do I pull it up? Pull up the Makoto thing. Pull up the Makoto thing. C. Uh, talk to the exit. Open, open handbook menu. F1 key. Okay, F1. Ooh, okay. Report cards. Report cards. Okay, who do we know that has button up shirts? Kiyotaka, Ishimaru, Byakuya. Uh, I think his counts too. Leon, Yafumi, Yasuhiro. She's dead. Kyoko. Uh, Celeste, Junko's dead, and Shihiro. That's like everybody except for like two, and, and me. <laughs> that doesn't really narrow it down. Anyways, this is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on the right. It's on right now. Do you see the green and yellow button is next to the mouth in the incinerator? It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get and going yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay. Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange, I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hey Fumi, do you realize what you just said? The fairy? No, you said the last time you were here the incinerator was off. Yes. About that there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. Definitely wasn't on then. I have been back to the trash room since, and since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on and yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate, but how's that possible? Huh? That doesn't make sense! This is, whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass shreds and burnt clothes weren't. What does that all mean, Mr. Nayagi? Would you, will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out of his one, out one of his comic book fantasies. His one of his comic book fantasies is to accuse you of murder, Makoto. Hmm, Mr. Nayagi, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? If you need help lifting your spirits, call on me anytime. I've got all kinds of some. Smut- oh. <laughs> I've got all kinds of smut uh, stuff that'll help cheer you up. Mwahaha. <laughs> Makoto. Oh my god. Ooh, is, so is that everything? Close when, what you open, put away what you take out, sleep after you eat, take care of what you buy. Keep that gung-ho attitude in mind, but we still gotta do the actual legwork, right? One of those things he said was definitely not like the others. <laughs> Are they always watching us? Don't they ever get tired of it? Jeez, it took everything I had just to think about mocking them. Leon! My bro! Ski. What's up, bruh? Oh, I should go talk to Higakure about that glass ball. Which is all the way in the gym. How do I bring up the teleport thing? How do I bring up the map? Controls? Map on and off tab key. Move left. Open help. Open trend. No, where's the map button? I need the map button. Okay, let's just walk to it then. I can't remember what the controls are to open the map and just slash TP there, so let's just walk to it. Can reminisce in the S LSD lights. Why is it called the Despair Ishimaru? Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I just said. Forget, forget, forget be. <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes, haha. Oh, okay, thanks. Agakure, I found something. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get back out there. Gotta get out now, I've had enough, gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Huh? Um. <laughs> Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Does this look familiar? Ah! That's my crystal ball! 
We just all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. How did it break? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Ganesh Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Whoever, uh, he said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Yeah, that's mine for sure. Probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shatter crystal ball has been updated. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted to know. Sure. By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Everything I saved up for from fortune telling for two full years came out to be like a million. A million? That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Uh, you, right. Also, I need to talk to you about numbers. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Um, sorry, no. Jiro slowly shook her head. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Could she maybe know more than she's letting on? Makoto, shut the fuck up. No, it couldn't be. I get the feeling Makoto is loving the whole detective thing, except for the fact that people suspect him of murder. Okay, uh, the laundry room, I think, is what Hira said, so let's go check out the laundry room. Oh, I can watch Sayaka's DVD in the AV room, I think, right? He said we could watch the Sayaka DVD now. Watch the Sayaka DVD. It's a DVD player. Bitch, watch the DVD! You- do you not have it? You said you wanted to watch it now that she's dead. Which sounds like an awful thing to say out loud, but you know, didn't seem like a problem for you. There's a swimsuit hanging out to dry. Has nothing to do with what's going on. I got a coin from the swimsuit! Okay. Uh, I can examine every single one of the laundry machines. Let's do it. It's a washing machine, a washing machine that has nothing to do with this case. Oh, I got a coin from that one. Apparently, Asahira left the ball in the laundry room on accident so anyone could have come along and taken it. There is no evidence of anyone even being there. I looked in the laundry room. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. What if I go to the sword, the place the sword was at before? Maybe there's gonna be a clue there. Worst case scenario just gives me a coin, I guess. Maybe? I can go into Sakura's room now, actually. Because Makoto did say he wanted to watch the video, Sakura's video. So maybe it's in the room. It's in the room I was in. I haven't been in here yet. Or I have, because I was sleeping in here, but I haven't really checked it out. First off, sewing kit. Saika. Can't let myself get depressed again, I need to search for clues. All that's here is a sewing kit and the organ, organ map. No useful clues. Saika. Fucker, nothing here. Stop getting distracted with, uh, just breathing Sayaka out loud. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD Sayaka was- with- the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really sad after seeing what was- whatever was on that video. I wonder what it- what did she see? Might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Cool, okay, I got the DVD. Now let's, uh... Let's go watch it. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. Pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... Huh. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. Standing on stage front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with her friends she had been... She said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image was made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Oh my god. 
Saiko disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. What I had noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. Look for the answer after graduation. That warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was able to get? He was even able to get them? If they really did, if that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Damn, I personally am really into like musical theater and singing and stuff. If I had a pop band or a band of any kind, and they all just simply died and I was the last one left, I would be devastated too. I would fall into a state of despair. Hajime, I would fall into a state of despair. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. What am I supposed to do now? Would you like to try your hand against the almighty mono mono machine? Sure. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, this is where I can spend my coins. Got an item. What is it? Okay. What if I spend all five of my coins? Got an item. Is that a onesie? What is that? Okay. Uh, I... It's, uh, the mono mono you spend mono coins with the mono mono you get presents, use the mouse wheel to add or remove coins. If you hold down the right mouse button, the amount will increase and decrease by increments of 10. Oh, okay. Uh... I should probably get going. Yeah. Mono- uh, Makoto! Sayak is dead! Roll- rolling for, um, rolling for presents. What's this? The dining hall? There's stuff in here to investigate? Really? What is there to investigate in here? Uh, what? I can go back here? That's a lot of food. Knives! There seems to be one missing. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here. Big, too small. Looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning? Or better see if anyone here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set has been added to the truth bullet section in your handbook. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything no noteworthy about it. I got a coin! Imagine slapping a lemon and just getting a coin from it. Marble meats, salted meats. Now it's no time to be thinking about food. Thanks. Slap the meat for some coins. Ow, you know about a knife set? Hey, so did you notice one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. yeah weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. So it wasn't missing from the beginning? Right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a neat, nice neat row. When did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. When I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. You're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking tea in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it, and you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. I always accounted- That's what you're concerned about? That you didn't- you weren't the one that took the knife? Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? Of course not, I would never. You know, do you really think I murdered her? She was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys are supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. When you consider everything all together, I honestly have no idea. Ding dong, bing bong! What is it? Really? That was all the clues I needed? Allow me to appoint a please go through the rest. <laughs> okay. Fine, I guess so. There's not even any music now. This is creepy. Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna end it there. We did all the investigating for Sayaka's murder, and now we're all set up and ready for the trial. So, on that note, if you liked it, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>